Cryptocurrency and Bitcoin pulling back right now. We need to make a quick emergency video to discuss exactly what is happening, what I'm doing, and everything you need to understand about the macro and the fundamentals so we can potentially make money in this market because it may be a scary time to come and I'm not sure that this pullback is over. So let's jump straight into the chart here. We can see that Bitcoin has broken out of our bull flag. We pushed out and now is the deciding time as to whether or not this was just a fake out or this is the bullish retest that we are actually waiting for. Now there is a number of good things in my mind about what's just happened but we need to discuss everything so you guys need to be fully up to date. So on the bearish side if we do not hold the region that we're at right now I want to first see this region here hold so about the $66,000 mark that has held so far but if that loses I'm going to be watching right here 63,000 that could be an incredible entry point and would still keep our higher highs and higher low structure intact here. So be paying attention to that guys there's another thing as well that I want to discuss with you and that is something we've discussed here on the channel many times so if you are a returning viewer please do me a favor yesterday we got 1.7 thousand likes that you heard it 1.7 thousand likes look I can show you here look at this 1.7 thousand likes I cannot thank you guys enough if you could do me a favor just smash the like button now because you if you like these sorts of um, urgency videos right because I got on a plane, a long haul plane yesterday, and there is an ongoing joke within my Discord and my community here on YouTube that every time I get on one of these long haul flights, the market tanks. Now I did alert to this, <laughs> no joke, I alerted to this in the Discord yesterday, right? When I, uh, uh, somewhere here, somewhere in the Discord anyway, I alerted to it and I let everyone know that I was about to get on a flight. And yes, it coincided with us having a pullback. I am about to get on another long haul flight. So the pullback may not be over, but of course, Course, that is Fugazi Fugazi, similar to that of the moon phases, all right? Similar to that of the moon phases. Remember, we had our bullish moon phase just about five days ago. And so far, guys, so far, guys, we did get a push up. Look at that. We got our push up and now we are pulling back. So, so far, the bull and the bear moons have worked out perfectly, but only time will tell. Are we going to get a bear moon in about a week and a half from now? Let's wait to see. Now, with all of that out of the way, with all of the nonsense out of the way, grab your teas and let's discuss exactly what's going on. Let me know what tea you're drinking today. Is it coffee? Is it tea? Is it green tea? Is it chamomile? Let me know. But guys, we have good news, all right? I know this seems kind of like it's scary, but we actually have good news here, okay? So this pullback, what has it done? It's given us the liquidations that I was telling you guys I wanted, all right? We're not quite there yet on the seven day. We're not quite there, but look at this, guys. A lot of the market got liquidated. A lot of longs got liquidated in that pullback. Where is it? Where's my liquidation? Here we go. Look at this. Almost $60 million of Ethereum, $50 million of Bitcoin, $7 million of Ape. In fact, the flight attendant that I was just on the plane with right now told me that he was shorting Ape. I don't know why everyone started shorting Ape. Let me know if you were shorting Ape. I don't like... It wasn't even on my radar, but look at this. We got everyone has been absolutely wrecked going long. What were they doing, guys? They were going long at resistance. How many times do we have to tell? Don't go long at resistance. You want to be going long at support. At support, we may have a support to go long at soon. We may have a more nearer support to go long at that we may have even already retested. Go long at support, not at resistance, guys. Because what this does is it puts you on the side of the liquidations, which is exactly what we were looking for. And what else has shifted now? We start to see more and more short positions come in. We've almost doubled our short positions in the last day or so. Just look at this, okay? We had about two and a half billion now in shorts in the last day, which is great because this means that the market is now pricing in or no, sorry, the market is now expecting a pullback rather than a push upwards. Remember what I was telling you up here? Most of the market was expecting a push upwards. Therefore, I expected downward volatility. That is exactly what we've had now. Now, I do not have a crystal ball. I'm not claiming to know exactly what will happen, but I look at these charts and this data every single day and I have noticed a pattern. If you appreciate me, bringing you this daily content which again we did notify you before there was a pullback so if you got caught on the wrong side of this remember what i was saying just a couple of days ago do me a favor and smash that like button and guys we still have our trades open I'm still in profit on a lot of these trades here. Casper, Ada, Aptos, all in profit. We have a ton of trades open on Margex. You know, we got our, our, our flagship trade here, $300 into $10,000 yesterday, now about $8,900. Uh, 
if you do want to trade yourself guys there's a link down there to bitunex bitunex you can get over five thousand dollars in deposit bonuses and i contacted them and i asked them look can you help anyone who's already signed up to bitunex so this is what you get if you sign up using my links i asked them can you help anyone who's already signed up through my bitunex link so if you signed up before the 20th of october over the last couple of days you're going to get 10 usdt as a registration bonus and you're going to earn an extra 10 usdt if you've made at least one trade or ready all you need to do is provide your uid and your email this is only going to be seen by me and bitunex and you're going to get these automatic deposits even if you haven't signed up already go and grab your five thousand dollars of usdt worth of newbie benefits right now guys this is an exchange that i'm using really easy to use and remember you can use the strategy that i've been using starting with low leverage waiting for a price appreciation increasing the leverage pulling out margin pulling out profit and oh my god it's so hard to speak right now i've got completely boxed up nose i don't know if you guys can hear it but let's discuss a little bit more about what's going on because guys yesterday blackrock or today depending on where you are in the world i think it's still today for most of you blackrock bought 332 million dollars of bitcoin for its etf blackrock know what's coming there's been a pullback but they know what's coming remember it's not just blackrock that's buying it's other institutions it's other banks it's other smart money everyone is buying right now and I believe that this pullback is exactly what we needed, right? We may have more on the cards, guys. We may have more on the cards. We could go to 63,000. I still think it's possible to head to this region. And in fact, I think it's possible, but unlikely in the short term to head to the bottom region of this bull flag. But down here is like kind of unlikely, but still could happen. And then this region is what I would be looking for. Now, I would kind of want this to happen so I can add to all of my positions, right? As you know, I've been showing you guys the live trade of Sui as we go along. And look at this. We've actually gone down to close to break even now. $400 in the Sui trade. Yesterday was about $2,500. Remember, we have already pulled out $42,000. 42000 I got confused there. We've already pulled out 42000 and look, if we get a pullback, right, finally, you guys get the opportunity that you've been waiting for, right? We have the support at the bottom of this range, $1.90. We have another one at $1.83. That coincides exactly with the 200 MA. Last time we touched that, we went absolutely parabolic. So if we came down to $1.84, could be a great opportunity. We have another one down here about $1.60 and another one down here about $1.50. All of these are opportunities. Remember the way I trade, right? I DCA. So we take a thousand dollars you you get the picture and then when we're in euphoric and we don't want to miss it we put in a hundred dollars right that way the price pulls back we put in another hundred dollars price pulls back we put in another hundred dollars so on so forth that's how i trade and that's how i get access to the best possible prices in this market sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't that's why you need your risk management in place now with this pullback we're going to get a reset of the fear and greed index we're going to get a reset of the mentality behind the market that says now is the time to long what the mentality should happen now if we get a little bit more downside is they're going to start to think we should start to short we're going to get a ton of shorts come into the market and then what does that give us an opportunity to go upwards because there's a short squeeze if the price goes down right now a little bit more or let's let's say yesterday for the price to go down just as it did a lot of money was made liquidating the long positions liquidating all of, all of this money was made by the exchanges by the manipulators understand that so now We've, loved, we've flushed some of them out, but we still have a lot more to go. So that's why I still believe there could be some more downside. However, this downside that we've had already could be enough. It could be but I'm erring on the side of expecting more. So I'm about to get on this plane. I'll be MIA for another six, seven hours. So let's hope that we do get a push upwards rather than a push downwards. But if we do get that push downwards, guys, remember that it's not all bad okay it's not all bad <clears throat> it's actually kind of good because we flush out the over leveraged people in the market who are expecting the market to go up remember if most of the market expects us to go up and we do go up with no volatility like we're having right now then all of those people make money and that's not how the market works most people lose money and once you understand that and you can start to try and trade against them 
it's going to make you a better trader in my opinion now with that said guys if you want to stay up to date with everything i'm doing in the market there's a link to my patreon down there in the description we're discussing exactly what is going on right now on the back end we've actually called out three different meme coins in about the last three weeks and all of them have done a 2x and at least pulled out initial one of them actually did a 4x this one so we got to 1.4 million it went all the way up to 5 million so guys these are the opportunities here i also post when i'm trading i also have t a team of traders in here as well well, if you do want to stay up to date with what they're doing in the market, if you want more exact price targets and all of that sort of thing, you can get that all access there. And remember, if you do want to sign up, there's a link to BitUnex down there in the description. Over $5,000 of deposit bonuses. And if you have already used my link, go and get your extra 20 USDT right now just by filling out this form that I'll leave you down there in the description. Hopefully you guys haven't been liquidated in this market and we're going to live to fight another day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.